while thinking about how to model using Bezier curves. I found out that the Chris P. channel had already uploaded a related video nine months ago. However, since version 3.4, it was a method using the disappearing transfer attribute node. Let's reorganize it again for version 3.4. For a basic explanation of the concept, please refer to the video on the Chris P. channel linked in the video description. In this video, we will only look at the node configuration that can be implemented in version 3.4 or later. For reference, what was implemented through the transfer attribute node before version 3.3 has been replaced with the sample index node since version 3.4 or later. This video is for users of version 3.4 or higher. If you want to implement the same effect in version 3.3 or lower, please refer to the Chris P. channel video in the video description. Apply a geometry node to the default cube. Since we need to utilize the index number, we add a mesh primitive cube inside the geometry node instead of the existing cube. Add 30 vertices along the z-axis. Since we are going to place each vertex anew, we add a set position node. Add a curve object to determine the shape. Use the Object Info node to load the curve object into the node tree. Add Sample Index node. With the resample curve node, set the number of vertices equal to the number of vertices C in the cube. Add a position node and a separate XYZ node. Add the index node and divide by 4. Add and connect position, separate XYZ, combine XYZ nodes. Insert a math node by adding a math node in the middle where the separate XYZ node and the combine XYZ node are connected. If you connect the value of the sample index, you can control the shape of the cube with a curve shape. By inserting a reverse curve node, you can match the shape of the curves. <laughs> 